All right, so I want to do a proper walk around on the 8.6. I want to show the good and the bad. Um, I've had it now for about two weeks, and I feel like I kind of have a little bit more feel for the car. I'm still learning things as I go, but I've been driving it a lot, and um, I kind of, you know, have a better understanding of the car. Not fully, but, you know, we're getting there. Small baby steps. So let me get you turned around and here she is. Um, if you didn't see the last last video, uh, it's a 1986 Toyota 11. Um, it was imported about two years ago. I've done a ton of research trying to track down information about the car but I'm kind of stuck at a certain point. I know everyone who's owned it since it's been in the States. I'm the fourth owner, um, which seems like a lot, but it was owned by three, the three previous owners were eight, six guys. So um, now it's got a good home. Not that it had bad homes, but now it's got a proper eight, six guy at home. <clears throat> All right, so. So yeah, so here it is. Um, you can see the paint's pretty faded. This is like the worst spot right here. But it's pretty much faded along the entire top. It's fine. I mean, in the videos and in pictures, it looks freaking amazing, but um, in person, it shows its age. What do we got? Okay, so it's got, let's start with uh, wheels. Obviously, we got SSR Lawn Champs. Um, they're, the fronts I know are 15 by 8, negative, what was it, 13 or so? Um, rears, I'm guessing it's a 15 by 9 or 15 by 8.5. Uh, similar kind of spec um, fills up the wheel arch is perfect in my opinion uh, it's got TRD rear springs with Bilstein adjustable rear shocks the front is RSR coilovers Cusco camber plates um, I was told the body kit is an Advan can I confirm that? No. Um, it's kind of on there, kind of shoddy. You know, it's got zip ties. Um, it's got basically screws holding it together there. Rears, you know, hopes and dreams, basically. Rear fender flares are just screws. Definitely couldn't be lucky enough to get a car that has some freaking rib nuts, but it is what it is. I'm not too worried about it. Um, FC3S side mirrors it's kind of cool i kind of like them they kind of go with the kit and whatnot it's not i prefer to have stock ones but it actually fits very well with this car um what else do we got obviously it's a koki um the the original door handles were absolutely blown out so I was able to came with some new ones so I installed them that changed the car the doors literally did not open from the outside before so that was a cool mod uh, those types of mods are really awesome it's got a Cusco rear strut bar a TRD wing Obviously, it's got the JDM tails, Fujitsu bow, Legalis, dual tip, exhaust. Um, you can see they had like something here. I don't know what it was. There's like rivets in it now. My guess is there was holes here, some type of latch system, and they riveted up the holes that were there were screws in. Um, who knows? Kind of fits with the car though. 
It's got some pretty cool stickers. This is like a small JDM company that rebuilds these cars. Kind of does like full service kind of stuff. Interior wise, whoa, that's close. Here, let's roll this bad boy back a little bit so we can open that door. Pretty JDM interior. Uh, East, Bear, East Bear Sports seat. And it's got a status passenger seat. Um, it's got this wheel, which is apparently like a Nissan wheel, uh, which is fine. It came with the car, so I'm okay with that. Um, window regulators work freaking amazing. It's like, most cars, they're chunky and kind of sloppy, but these ones are tight. Let's, uh, the seat was meant for someone about 40 pounds lighter than me, but I squeeze in. Uh, you can see on the on the odometer, it's got 170,000 kilometers, which is not bad. I think that's original, but freaking who knows. Um, trust shift knob, cool little e brake button. Um, it's got what are these Amori gauges, which are pretty cool. It's got a blitz boost gauge, but I was told it was never boosted, and there's no signs of it being boosted, so who knows why this is in here. You know what I mean? These cars go through a lot. It's got some pretty cool little cup holders. They actually work too, they function. Uh, it's got a cell phone holder on it too. Uh, what else? Yeah, so it's got oil temp, oil pressure, and water temp, and then the factory gauges work as well, uh, which is kind of nice. Uh, one of my favorite parts about the interior is it's got a functioning uh, stereo, touch screen, with Bluetooth, obviously. This thing's pretty cool too. This little uh, rear view mirror. You know, a little, I don't know what you'd call them. Kind of panoramic kind of thing. The headliner's super clean. The sun visors are pretty clean. You need, need to wipe down, but that's all right. Um, all the HVAC controls and everything work. I'm working on getting the AC going. It's not going right now. Um, obviously, power mirrors don't work. Uh, what else do we got in here? Basically, all the lights work. Um, the windshield wipers work. Front half of the car is very clean. Um, very clean and complete. Rear half of the car, let me get you turned around. So rear half of the car is caged. So it's got a bolt-in cage. Um, got some T3 rear panels. I actually have uh, the rest of the panels to complete the rear. But, you know, I'm trying to figure out what this car was used for. It was obviously used for something and they were tracking it. You know, trying to trying to track down its history. So if anyone has any leads or ways to try to track that down, I'm, I'm all ears. Okay, so you can see it was jammed. They painted the jams. I mean, they, they painted everything. They didn't, it was, this wasn't a, a quick paint job. Let's pop the hood. Uh, both of these work. They're a little iffy, a little, a little floppy, but they both work. This 
still has a factory hood hood prop you know clip um so small port 4ag uh, it's got a cool header i don't know what it is it's hard to figure that out um i recently removed power steering because the power steering pump was shot it was dumping uh fluid out uh, that allowed me to clear up a ton of space here and now I'll have more access to the AC because I'm going to try and get the AC system going. still has everything for AC. has this F-Win uh, radiator, which is like a JDM brand. Not super familiar with it. It's hard to find information. Uh, Cusco strut brace. Like I said, Cusco camber plates. Um, it's got a trust oil cooler with the trust um, oil filter relocation. What else? It's obviously, so being a JDM car, there's no um, airflow meter. It's just map based. So you get your map sensor up there. What else? Someone put some love into this thing. You know, it's got some cool, what is it? Ultra. Yeah, ultra. Um, spark plug wires, they did a good job painting the valve covers. I personally don't like them because it looks like 49er colors and that's just a color combo I'm not a fan of, but I'm going to leave it. Uh, the header was coated blue. You can kind of see it down there. So I'm debating if I want to go blue or if I want to go with something a little different. Uh, maybe black, some black valve covers might look kind of cool. Samco hoses, um, HKS filter. I got a new, the Clutch Master is kind of iffy, so I got a new Clutch Master cylinder for it. These came with little tiny batteries, which is kind of cool, but who knows? It's going to be fun trying to find a battery for this thing. What else? It's still running factory clutch fan. I cleaned that thing up, made it look freaking brand new. Obviously, it's got the Zackley clear cam cover, but I do have the original cover for it as well. It's got some pretty cool stickers. I put this one on. Um, yeah, so I... Let's walk you over here. Pulled the power steering stuff. This is all the hard components, and we got the lines on the side of the house. Um, that is all removed. I ordered a quick rack from Flows with uh, bushing from T3, the bushing, the intermediate shaft with the U joint. So, <clears throat> all that's going to get swapped out here. Who knows when? Uh, that's going to be a job. What else do we got? You know, I think that's pretty much it. You can tell it had hood pins at one point. Uh, this is cut out. This was originally a black with gray. Like, I don't know what they call it, graphite. Um, Two-tone car, which, man, I wish it still was. Uh, it's got a white hood, so the hood was replaced at some point. I'm guessing it had a fiberglass hood on with hood pins, and then they wanted to go with a metal hood. So um, there's another one of those cool stickers. Another small JDM company. Uh, let's see, what else do we got here? I mean, it's still got all the factory emission stuff, all the, you know, little gadgets and doodabs. I cleaned this up as well as I could. I think it fits the engine bay. If I got a super clean one, it, it might look too nice. What are we working with? This is the dumbest location for this. Uh, it literally, when you take this off, it dumps oil all over the place. So it's like you have to have something here to attempt to catch the oil. It's, it's stupid. But these are all the lines for the gauges. Just kind of tucked back there, which is fine. I'm not too worried about that.
It's not a show car. This is just a driver. Yeah, what else? What else are we working with? Hang loose a little. Window cling. It's got some spots of rust popping through. Um, am I worried about it? No. You can see they silicone this because I'm guessing there's a little bit of rust popping up. Let's see if we can get this. It's got these cool floor mats. There we go. You got to get the angle just right. Let's see paint fade up here. New hood struts, which is cool. Again, you can see it was originally a black car. Um, you see some rust popping through here. Nothing too detrimental. This is still all solid. Um, rusty right here, but I mean, that's not bad. Butt cheeks are the, you know, that's just what I call them. The, the seals down here are all good, uh, not rusty. Cusco rear strap bar again. Uh, let's see, what else have we got? What else are we working with? There's a can rolling around. Uh, it's got a TRD two way stock rear strap bar, Cusco front strap bar. It's got an adjustable pan hard. Um, you can see those Bilstein green shocks that are adjustable. Ground's hot right now. A little bit of rust right there peeking through. The wheels are what makes this car though, in my opinion. I've seen pictures of this car with some other wheels on it and it looked tragic. But yeah, so I think that's it. I just wanted to do a quick video, one take, just walking around the car, kind of showing you everything that I know about the car. Um, so you can kind of see what's what. Um, you know, it's a right-hand drive car, so, you know, it takes a little to get used to, a little getting used to driving it. I've had a few right-hand drive cars, so it, it wasn't that big a deal. Um, I'll tell you what though, this thing gets more attention than any car I've ever owned. I've had it Skylines and uh, Soars and this thing gets so much attention. It's crazy. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching. I'm glad that uh, people are actually watching some of the videos I make. And I made two videos in one weekend. That's crazy. I'm going to post it. I'm not trying to... I don't do like a regular schedule. I just kind of make videos and post them as I go when I get some motivation to do it. Once it comes time to do the rack, it's going to be hard to make videos of it because it's going to take a long time. So I'll try and see. And I just do everything on my phone. So I'm not like, I don't have any, there's no high production value here. This is bare bones kind of making YouTube videos. Um, yeah, anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, again, if anyone has any information or way for me to look this car up, I would love that. I'm trying to find the history of it back when it was in Japan. See if it has any provenance or any type of significance. If it's if not, no big deal. I'm not too worried about it, but it would be cool to try and find some history on it. So, yeah, so next video will probably be quick rack time. All right, see you later.